becomes their go-to guy that time fighting for those extra yards to get the first. The throw and uh, that super back breaks a couple tackles inside the 25 and all the way down to the 19 yard line from a knee injury. Looked pretty healthy. Thorson downfield. Kind of a back shoulder throw and it's caught inside the 20. Ben Skoranek with a big play. He's slow to get up. He is their big play threat in the passing game. Great effort to come back to the ball. We had a flag down now late. I don't know if that's from the Purdue sideline. Uh, in the end, it's a big play for Clayton Thorson and Northwestern. Leading 17-14. And a pass on first down toward the end zone. He's got a wide open man. And did the feet stay down? Yes. But the ball, I guess, was not across the plane. So it's a catch, but not a touchdown. It's going to be for... Now they do bring some pressure. Picked up initially. And Thorson hits his man across the middle for a first down into Purdue territory. That's Flynn Nagel. Because the instinct was feeling a, a defensive player coming from the opposite side. Thorson drops it in beautifully for Flynn Nagel, who's been his most targeted receiver today. First down. He did have a Clemson. It's a remarkable. Deep ball down the middle. This is caught. First down and then sub Flynn Nagel. Great find against Leonard Johnson. Leonard Johnson is the nickel safety in there trying to cover cl Nagel. Green in motion. Thorson looking to throw. Right at the first down marker connects with Bennett Skoranek. Thorson rolling out this time. Deep throw and a wide open receiver finds his man. Pass connects. Kyrick McGowan for the big gainer. Boston, Boston, huh? Thorson again with some time. And it's caught by Cameron Green, his super back. <laughs> Thorson again, very systematic. One more time, Skoranek. They're going to say he got a foot down inbounds. <laughs> Thorson with some time across the middle. Oh, nice. Connects. Cameron Green for the touchdown. 21 yards in his first score of 2018. Sure took it 31 seconds for this. Looks like two vertical routes. Outside linebacker overran Cam Green. Clay Clayton Thorson standing in the pocket, deliver a, a strike. Thorson to the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Cameron Green, number two. Guess who? And with Jeremy Larkin out of the game, Thorson finds his security blanket, as we've been saying all game long, Cam Green. Nice back shoulder throw in the corner of the end zone. Another look at the touchdown play. Switch release. Kind of got the safety, kind of got lost in coverage. Thorson in trouble. And the chase. Throws it to the back of the end zone. Pass complete touchdown. What a play. Benick Skoranek. His first touchdown of the year. An Akron's way. I just don't know how you can overturn this. Second and six at the 37. Thorson to throw it, drops it off underneath. Looks like a bubble screen caught. J.J. Jefferson with the afterburners. J.J. Jefferson down at the Michigan one. That's a gain of 36. David Long with the saving tackle. Quarterback sneak. No signal yet. Touchdown, Northwestern. The Wildcats drive it right down the field. Can't script it any better if you're Northwestern. A three and out defensively, and then the offense takes some good field position. They go right down the field, and the big senior quarterback. Brandon Boyer Randall there to make the, that stop. Here's John Moten in the game now in the backfield as Thorson looks to take a shot. And nice. while well, he stood all the way, it's McGowan. 77 yards.
without being affected by pressure on the back end. Coming from the opposite guard position to a wide open wide receiver. Well designed play. From the 34, it's first down. That's the first accepted penalty of the game. Forsen looping it for Jefferson. He's got it. It is a touchdown. Wow. Trey Pearson in coverage, but this is just a beautiful pitch and catch. And how about Jefferson with the bum hand reeling it in? You know what this guy does. It's really just about his accuracy, right? And, and the little play fake underneath, but this is what you call dropping a dime right here. Pearson with excellent coverage there. But again, when the ball is perfectly thrown with the sideline, Jefferson just goes and lays out. I think that ball is caught. I mean, yeah, he just did a too. fantastic job. Even with this much time remaining. Looping it towards the corner. It's caught. It's touchdown. It's green. Northwestern reclaims the lead. Wow. Tariq Thompson, Sam Backer over there, has got beat on coverage. Don't expect him to go that deep, but again, the eyes flash to the front side, comes back and lays a dime right over the shoulder to complete the pass and the touchdown. I like the switch route. They can push it up here. There it is. They they took it away from and there's the touchdown. <laughs> the two-point conversion to Vault. Well, you're right. They were looking switch, and it was away, and he found his next progression. Forsman on his own. He got it. He's in there. Well, he may have gotten the first down. No signal of touchdown. Not yet. Timmy, he got, got that. He got it. Touchdown. Northwestern is going to get yet another win over Michigan State. Three in a row in the series, and their second win of the year. The potential put-away touchdown right there. They've basically turned Michigan State into Northwestern of a week ago. Uh, that, that's nothing short of miraculous in college football. That pass complete to Flynn Nagel, who has the first down at the 48-yard line. Let's watch for Nagel in the slot down low. Those fans you hear making noise are Nebraska fans. That'll keep them quiet. Touchdown, Nagel. We got to get to work here, though. Pressure coming by Nebraska. Thorson caught by Nagel. And Nagel with no one between him and the end zone scores. What a turnaround. Clayton Thorson, the senior, they needed some big plays and big throws, and man, did he come up with them as he finds a true freshman, J.J. Jefferson, full extension up.